And on a prior video, I reviewed the Hardway Dry Heads Up Display system, which is a really neat device that allows us to add a heads up display to any vehicles. Now, some newer vehicles already come with the option of having a heads up display, such as the Corvette, but if we wanted to add that type of technology to our vehicle, we can now do that with the Hardway Drive. What this does, it essentially displays information for us so we don't have to look down at our phone or we don't have to look down at the dash of our vehicle. We can get things like directions. We can see virtual gauges, what Hardway Drives calls widgets, we can see notifications so who's calling us or who's texting us and more. If you have not seen the other video where I do a full review of this unit, you may want to watch that video first, otherwise what you'll see on this video may not make a lot of sense. I'll put a link to that video in the description down below. On this video, I'm going to give you a tour of the app, all the settings and all the features and how it functions. My fellow car enthusiasts, welcome back. I am Alex the Car Guy and I review cool car gadgets and other accessories for your vehicle. So if you like car gadgets, make sure you subscribe by hitting the button down below to see more videos like this. I also like to remind you that I have placed a link in the description down below to this device if you want to place an order or if you want to look at it further, including a discount code to help you save a little money when ordering a heads up display Hardway Drive system. And let's begin with how to get the Hardway Drive app. On the Android device, we have the Play Store, and on an Apple phone, we have the Apple Store. And I'm going to search for Hudway. Now you'll notice that Hudway actually has two apps. The first one is called Hudway Go, and that app is for a different device that Hudway carries, which is called Hudway Glass, and that uses your phone and a projection screen to create a heads of display system. However, the one that we are looking for is called Hardway Drive. And as you can see, we can take a look at what the recent changes for the app have been. And we can also, if we scroll down, see what the current version is. At the time of filming this video, this version is 1076 and it was last released on February 23 of 2022. So making sure that the app is fully updated is very important before we even begin to use the device itself. And let's begin our tour of the Hardway Drive app. Now the app is automatically going to find the Hardway device and connect to it via Bluetooth. Once it has been connected, it's going to confirm that by showing us that green check mark on here and it's going to say connected to Hardway Drive. But I do want to show you what it looks like the very first time we fire up the app and we have not connected it to the Hardway Drive display system. The app is going to look for the Hardway Drive device and once it finds that device, it's going to give us the option to connect to it. So I'm going to click on here, connect to it. Now this only has to, it only has to be done once. But let's begin with the dashboard page. And at the top, we have a gear icon. That is for the advanced settings of the Hardway Drive. We'll come back to that later. You may also see a little circle with a letter I in there. I means information, so I'm gonna click on that. And it's got basically like a built-in manual that tells us, oh, in this section you can change this or you can customize that. And it gives us a brief overview of what that does. Now, if I keep scrolling down, we have two choices. We have free ride or navigation. Free ride is when we are driving without using the navigation. So if we're just driving around and we wanna have some stuff displayed in front of us, we are in free ride mode. And as you can see, the Hardway Drive is gonna display our average speed, a speedometer, and the trip distance. But what if we wanted to customize that? Well, we can tap that to edit and we can change the what Hardway Drive calls the widgets on the left hand side, or we can change the speedometer to different styles, or we can change the widgets on the right hand side. And we can also customize the navigation view. We're gonna tap that. We can customize the widgets on the left hand side and we can customize the widgets on the right hand side. As you can see the center, we cannot customize that because that is where the navigation instructions are gonna come up and the map is gonna be telling us to turn left, turn right, so we want that arrow to stay there. Now if I keep scrolling down, there's a couple of good uh, interesting settings on here that you may wanna adjust so they best fit what you are trying to do with the Hardway Drive. Every time we get a notification, it is going to be displayed on the heads of display system. And here we can tell the Hardway Drive how long to show that, not that notification until it disappears. Obviously, you would not want to keep it on there for very long because it will probably be distracting for you when you're driving. If it's too short, you might not be able to read it. So finding a good balance in here is important. And we can also change how many lines of text to display for the notification that just came in. Let's imagine that we got a text message and that message is very long. If we have it set very high, we're going to get a very long message in front of our view when we're driving and that might not be desirable. If we have it too short, we might just see the top of the text message. So same thing here 
here is finding a balance I think is what's gonna make it useful for us to have the notifications in front of us. But we don't wanna get all kinds of notifications when we're driving and we can customize that right here. But now that you're familiar with the dashboard page and the free ride and navigation mode, let's go to the actual navigation tab itself. Here we can enter an address and get navigation to that address or we have points of interest that are built in and we can also save a home address or a work address if we use that often. But let's enter an address and let's get some directions. Oh, here we go. Disneyland, that's a good one. And the app is going to calculate the best way to get to Disneyland. And once we are in the navigation mode, the navigation is really going to come from the heads of display, the turn, la turn left, turn right directions. However, if we wanted to see an overview of the directions that we're going to take, we can see those here on the phone. But we know we're not going to look at our phone mostly because that's what we got the hardware drive to be able to not look at our phone. So we're going to leave it on this navigation mode and the phone could be off and the hardware drive is going to be giving us directions. Once we get to the place that we want to be, we can just hit finish on here and and we are done with the navigation portion of the hardway drive. Also notice that we have the ability to delete our search history if we wanted to leave no trace of where we've been. But there's another place where we can see the history of our trips and that is on my trips. And here where we can see a summary of the trips we taken before and we can choose to display them either the last 24 hours or I want to see the last seven days or the entire month or lifetime. However, if you do want to have complete privacy, you can always choose to delete lead your trip history altogether. But now let's move to the advanced settings. I'm going to click that gear icon and we can see that the very first thing we can do is disconnect the device. We do not want to disconnect the device because if we do, we are not going to be able to customize it. Then we have firmware updates. Since I got in this device, it has been several firmware updates that have been released and different changes has been done to the device. As you can see, we are in 1.14. Now, every time you get a firmware update, it actually will give you a little summary of what that update does if you choose to accept it or not accept it. Next, we have the auto connect to OBD2. Now, this is only going to be needed if we have the optional OBD2 adapter. If we do not have the OBD2 adapter, we're going to turn that setting off. Next up is the minimize widgets option. Now, what this does, it makes all the little gauges smaller on the hardware display drive. Now, this can be convenient if you want to have a less distracting view by minimizing those widgets. Uh, perhaps if you're driving on a highway and there's not much changes very often that you need to be aware of, you can minimize the widgets if you so choose to. Now the brightness level is quite interesting. I actually always have it on the maximum, but you could choose to lower the brightness level if for, so, for some reason you wanted to do so. The hardware drive device itself does have an automatic light sensor, and I have seen that that light sensor seems to do most of the adjustment that is needed. So I never really adjust that. I just leave that at max. And then we have the units where we can change between kilometers per hour or we can change to miles per hour. Now the mirroring mode is how you are able to display everything that is on your phone directly onto the Huawei display drive system. However, Huawei will tell you that you may not like it because if you mirror your phone to the heads of display device, you are gonna be presented with a screen that was not designed to be a heads of display. You're gonna be presented with your phone screen, which was meant for it to be used as a phone, but you have the option if you wanted to do so, you could do it in two ways. You can do it via Wi-Fi or using the Miracast option. Now, I showed this on my full review of the uh, Hardway Drive system, how you could technically use this to watch videos or potentially watch uh, movies on here, but obviously, that would, you would not want to do that while driving. Now, the Wi-Fi frequency, I always recommend leaving that in auto, but you could choose 2.4 if you wanted to. Now, speed alerts. The hardware drive actually has this reminder, and I have it set very high here. You would not want to have it that high. You would not want to have it too low either, because when you, get, when you get on the freeway, you're going to be reminded that you're speeding. And we can customize the color of the speedometer, and you notice that all the colors are nice and bright, which is going to be helpful so they really pop up on the heads of display and we can also customize the vehicle type this is again helpful so the app can calculate the correct fuel economy and cost same thing with the options down below we want to have them as accurate as possible so the app is going to give us the best possible or accurate fuel economy we can leave the fuel economy at auto or we can tell it exactly how many miles per gallon our car gets so we can get a true accurate display of that number we can select the right currency for where we're at and we can select the cost. We can also 
turn off or on the voice assistant. And this is if we do not want the Huawei drive talking to us. It really only seems to come on when you're doing the navigation, so I leave that on all the time. And at the bottom of the app, we have probably the most important feature of all, in my opinion, and that is the report a bug. I wish all apps had a little option in their built-in so we can submit comments, we can submit suggestions for improvement, or hey, if this particular thing crashes all the time, let me know what that is, when that happens, send me the data, send me the information, and this is gonna allow Hudway to figure out what all, any potential issues that may be out there. And the last thing I'm gonna show you on the app is that while the app is running, we are able to use the phone for every other option that we want to, because the app is running on the background. And we need the app to run in the background to be able to send the notifications to the heads of display or to give us addresses or directions. And that is the nice thing about this app that we can potentially use other apps if we wanted to while also running the Hardway Drive in the background. So hopefully you guys found it helpful to see a tour of the Hardway Drive app and how it can be used to customize the Hardway Drive heads of display system. Now, once I had the app set up in my phone, I don't really use it. Once I got used to what setting worked best for me, I really don't use the app for the, with the exception of the navigation. That's really the only thing that I hop in the app to put in some address and then get directions to it. The settings, I think once you find that sweet spot for you, you won't go, you won't have to go back in there and change them. So remember guys, I put a link in the description down below to this heads up display system. You guys wanna look at this further or acquire one for yourself along with the discount coupon to help you save a little money when ordering one of these heads of display units. And if you guys have any other questions regarding the app and how it functions, please put that in the comments down below. And if you guys found any part of this video helpful, hit the thumbs up button to support the channel. And stay tuned as I have a lot more cool car gadgets and accessories coming up. Thank you guys for watching, and as always, I'll see you on the next one.